Hey, 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 my beautiful budgeting friends. I am Freya. This is Budgie Budgets, where we are on a mission to gain some financial security for our beautiful family and pay off a heap of debt. Um, welcome, if you are new. Welcome back, if you are returning subscriber. Um, so this morning was kind of funny because I got everything set up to film. I was ready to go. I turned on my lights and one of my lights went out because it was out of battery. So I had to go plug it in. And whilst I was doing that, I ticked over to 150 subscribers. Yay! Um, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, you guys. It's beyond awesome to be in this situation i think a month in to filming videos and less than a month into my etsy store it's um it's it's really something i'm i'm absolutely over the moon so today um was gonna be a really short video um because i i don't have anything to unstuff today you guys there's no unstuffing to be done it's so exciting. We just really have not had, um, after a particularly very spendy month, we have not had a particularly very spendy week. So that's exciting. Um, so it's, today will be giveaway details first and foremost, because exciting and a budget with me, a weekly check-in and we'll do our little roundup challenge. So first of all, I suppose let's start with giveaway information. So all you have to do to enter the giveaway is comment on this video. That's it. Just leave me a comment. Any comment you like, you can say something, leave me an emoji, whatever you like. It's not, it's not going to be specific. It's just whatever you comment goes into the drawer and then I will um, use the randomizer to select a winner. So this will be open internationally. Anyone can enter because the prize is digital. So. Um, I didn't want, I didn't want a chunk of the prize to be taken up by postage costs. So what I'm doing is will be a $20, $20 Australian dollar value um, voucher for my Etsy store. So that will be delivered to you. You can use it to buy anything you like. It doesn't matter. Digital products, um, physical products, whatever you want. Um, the only catch is the way that Etsy does, the way that Etsy will allow me to do um, vouchers or coupons, whatever. Um, is that it does all have to be used in one transaction. The balance won't carry over. So if you don't use all of it, the rest of it will be gone. Etsy won't remember um, that there was anything more left on there. So $20 Aussie. Um, so whatever that translates to where you're from. Um, yeah, and I will announce the winner in this week's video like this video next week so next monday for in my budget with me video that's where we will announce the winner so yeah that's exciting comment away how cool um and i mean keep sharing keep subscribing if you like what you're watching we will do another giveaway at 250 subscribers um that will be a little bit of a bigger giveaway and then we will do another slightly bigger giveaway at at 500 subscribers um yeah, so exciting, so exciting. Okay, uh, let's get down to business, I suppose. So today we are doing, um, what should I do first? Should we do weekly check-in first, maybe? Oh gosh, you guys. After being like, oh, sneak peek, I've already started my May budget. Um, so where were we? We were in week four and after my being like, oh, do you know what? This is not going to be a spendy, uh, groceries week. Oh, it was, it was a super spendy grocery week. So we added 790. We had negative 3150 carried over from last week. We added 790. We spent $621.50. Whoops. Um, and so we have $137 left to get us through the rest of this week because we're not adding anything to it this week. Um, which should be fine. We've still got we've still got some like quite a lot of meat and a couple of dinners um, left from the previous shops. What happened here was oh, what happened here? One, I made the terrible, horrible, no good mistake of taking my children to the supermarket with me. 
uh, two, I made the mistake of physically going into the supermarket, which I don't usually like to do, because it opens my eyes to all these things that I see that we've not bought before or um, we don't necessarily need, and therefore my grocery bill goes up. Um, and all, but also the, I think the, the main factor here was that I was running low on, I usually do like a massive, um, like nut and for my older two, they're allowed to have nuts at school. Um, so I normally do like a big mix of, um, nuts and stuff for us to snack on. And that had completely run out. So I went and bought like cashews, peanuts, almonds, pistachios. Um, yeah. And that obviously is an expensive endeavor um but anyway it is what it is hopefully we can squeeze out this week without going over budget uh to start may we will see uh so takeout we added 78 we spent 78 you guys will never ever see there will never be a week where we add money to take away and it doesn't get spent i'm just throwing that out there <laughs> petrol we added 97 we've spent nothing uh so we still have 108 in there which is awesome um, because the new car came pre-filled. Um, I haven't had to fill up yet, which is so nice. So yeah, um, we added 20 to the chemist. We didn't spend any, so we have 40 left over. So then for this coming week, we have 137, we have none. We have 108 and we have 40. Okay. That's that. And then let's do the budget for this week. So yeah, it is a little weird. I'm technically budgeting like from the 30th of April, but this is our fifth week of, week of April. So what happens for us is that this, this pay, every second pay, we actually get paid in the same week on a Monday and a Friday. And I just carry that Friday pay over to the Monday. So technically this was paid during last week, um, but I budgeted today. So I didn't want to drag it into may as a paycheck because it does really belong in april but um yeah that's all good so our income for this week is 898 and that is being divvied up into our internet which is getting 25 uh our home insurance so i am going to change how I'm doing this, home insurance getting 12 uh, from next month. I had a big play around last night and yesterday and I just don't, I thought doing it like this would mean like breaking everything down into a weekly amount would kind of mean that it was more structured i suppose more routine more predictable um which might kind of i don't know make it more consistent i suppose but i'm actually finding it really bothersome um because all of the payments aren't lining up and they're not going to line up for quite a while because i need to have basically two golden months before all of the payments will be does that kind of make sense because you kind of build up a buffer in some areas when you break it down weekly, that's just sort of how it works. Because obviously, yeah, yeah, anyway. Um, so I don't like that. So next month, I am going back to a more simplified paycheck budgeting system where I will budget for the bills that are upcoming that need to be taken out of the pay that paycheck. The benefit of what I've previously done means that I actually already have covered most of the, like most of this is going towards bills in May. Most of this isn't going towards anything in April, obviously, because um, April is nearly over. But yeah, so most of the bills in May are already covered. Um, so I'm kind of, we're kind of almost a month ahead, but not. Um, but anyway, so... Uh, but my card is getting two. So our health insurance is getting 61. Ambulance cover is getting four. Apple care is getting $3. Swimming, 76. Xbox is 11. That's from like my hubby splurge. Spotify is the whole family get 10. And iCloud is getting two, which totals 204, which leaves us with 694. Then variable is getting, oh, 
I didn't think I had given us any more takeaway money, but I have. What a gem. That will help with our grocery budget. <laughs> um, yeah, I know, I really admire, I know um, Vicky from, is it Vicky Plans and Budgets, her channel name? Anyway, she's on a mission to, to try not to eat takeaway and not budget for takeaway while she's paying off debt. And I cannot tell you how much uh, I admire that, but um, it's, a, it's a staple in our house, really. We usually have some, some sort of takeaway once a week, if not once a fortnight. Um, it's mostly because, sorry, I am chatting my way through this. I'm not really talking about what I'm doing. Um, so Takeaway 65, Eastland, that's Tolls, is getting five. Mikey, that's our public transport, is getting five. Our pharmacy or chemist fund is getting another 20. And spending is getting 10. That's for my hubby because my spending went on that, I think I already told you, thumb splint that's on its way. So, um, yeah, in our, in our household, my husband is the majority dinner maker -er. Um He's probably actually the majority food maker. Or like he does breakfast for the kids while I do their lunches in the morning. Um, and yeah, he's usually the one that cooks dinner. That is mostly because, because of all of my health issues that I have going on. By that time of the day, I am not the most useful human. <laughs> kind of worn out by then. Um, and also I'm very sensitive to heat. And so standing in front of the stove for a long time is... Um, yeah, not the most fun for me. So he, and he quite enjoys cooking most of the time. Um, obviously, sometimes, not so much. And so to make sure that he gets a break from that um, with relative frequency, we have a takeaway budget. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, so that totals 105 and it's 589 remaining. Not me being like, this is gonna be a really short video and then being super chatty. Um, okay, so sinking funds, cash envelopes, including savings challenges this week is getting 380 and you will see where all of that is going on Wednesday. And then debt, we've got our Visa card, which is getting 90. Our MasterCard is getting 45 and the ATO is 74. So this is 380, which leaves us with 209. And that is 209, which leaves us with nothing. And that is our zero based budget for this week. Um, so yeah, for the remainder of the week, we will, whoops. We'll go on to our little roundup challenge now. If I can do it without knocking everything over. This, this binder is so chunky. Oh my goodness. Okay, so in roundup this week, we had $5.87. That's another big one. I might even just, will I take this out? Oh, I'm worried. No, maybe I'll leave it in there. I'm worried they're all going to come out. It's just going to be very messy coloring because it's, on a big bump. So 0.87 is our next one. This one's really adding up. I think we've what's happened, like we've had a lot of um, like something and five cents transactions. And so it's nearly a full dollar that goes in each time, um, which is great. I think there's just more than $30 in here already. Uh, the other 0.86, I'll take off 0.85. And another 0 0.85, 0 0.84, and 0 0.74. So that's that one. Beautiful. Mm, we're getting there. Lofty, lofty. Okay, so. That's all for today. Uh, for the rest of the week, I will see you on Wednesday for my regular cash stuffing. And then on Friday, we will do April's cash condensing and tallies for the month. So we'll see. We'll see how we've done compared to last month. I cannot imagine that we've gone forward. I'm just hoping 
we haven't gone too far backwards. Um, like given that we paid a thousand dollars for the new car, yeah, I'm kind of thinking if we haven't gone, if we haven't gone more than a thousand dollars backwards, I will be really happy. I'll be really happy with that. Um, yeah, because we bought Happy All these new clothes and everything. It's been a very, very spendy month. So, but we'll see. We'll find out on Friday and then um, we'll do a debt update too. I think we'll do that. Uh, we'll either do that in with that or I'll do it the, the following week. We'll see how we go for time. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Please do not forget to comment if you would like to enter the giveaway. Um, yeah, just comment anything that you like. It will be randomly selected next week. And if you have not subscribed yet and you've liked what you've seen, please hit the bottom down below. Give me a like, a comment, hit subscribe. If you hit the bell, you'll be notified when I upload again. Um, yeah, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so, so much. It's really, um, it's really cool. This whole experience has been really, really cool. Thanks to all of you guys. So I hope you all have a brilliant week and a great rest of your Monday. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.